Should you be scared to pee in fresh water? Is there a fish that can swim up your pee hole and cause issues? Some pretty scary stuff. Let's find out. Welcome back to my channel. If you like my videos or if you just want to be nice, please like and subscribe below. So you may have heard about some weird fish that goes up to people when they're peeing in fresh water like lakes, ponds, rivers, and it enters their urethra. Remember the urethra is that tube that goes from where the pee exits the body to the bladder and it goes in there and causes issues. We've seen this fish on shows like House, Simpsons, and even River Monsters, but is it actually true and does it cause issues? And also, how frequently does it happen? I've met many guys and gals who are in a lake and they're like, I'm not peeing in this water. I don't know what's in it. Something might come up and bite me. Mm. There is a little truth to that. And to be honest, many of you have thought that at one time or another. And the answer is there is a fish that could potentially do that. It's called the Kandiru fish. But this fish has a lot of myths and we're gonna debunk those today. The fish has many nicknames. It's called a toothpick fish, the penis fish for obvious reasons and a lot of other ones. It's a small fish and it's actually a type of catfish. They can grow up to 17 centimeters, but are usually the size of a toothpick, which is why it gets its name, the toothpick fish. The Kandua fish is actually considered a parasite, meaning it feeds off of another animal. And oddly enough, this fish feeds on other fish. Their body is translucent, meaning it's basically see-through. So when it does feed on another fish, you could actually see the blood pooling inside the actual fish. Think of this fish as like a vampire. What this fish does is it goes up to these fish and it has these spines that lock it in place and they end up basically taking a bite onto the fish and sucking its blood, which is pretty nasty and scary to think about. All right, I have some phenomenal news. You ready? So this fish is only found in the upper Amazon River and Orinoco River in South America. So if you're from the United States, good news for you. Pee all you want, even though it's a little gross. Also some good news is they feed off of fish. They don't want anything to do with humans. That's not their natural prey, so that's good news as well. On this channel, we talk about evidence-based medicine, meaning facts that have been proven and peer-reviewed by our peers, of course. Unfortunately, this fish has a ton of false claims and stories that haven't been proven at all. Some other crazy myths is that when somebody is outside the water, peeing inside the water, that the fish can go up the actual urine stream into the urethra and live there and lay millions of eggs throughout its lifetime and also that it kills thousands of people per year, but none of this has been proven. The fact is there's only been one questionable case where a urologist actually had to go in there and pull a fish out. But again, that was questionable. Considering this fish only lives in South America and there's little to no true documented cases, rest assured that this is very unlikely to happen even if you were in South America. But to err on the side of caution, if you are in South America along the Amazon River or Orinoco River, make sure you wear a bathing suit that is properly fitted and tight to you. But also don't pee in the Amazon River. Personally, if I was in South America, I just wouldn't go into the Amazon because the Amazon River has some pretty freaky creatures in it. So I'd just avoid it in general, but just don't pee in the river. Also remember, it's just not hygienic to pee in fresh water in general. You're more likely to get a urinary tract infection when peeing in water than of course a fish swimming up your pee hole. Well, that wraps up today's video on the Kandiru fish. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. That will help a lot. Otherwise, until next time.